Guys, I caught a queen ant in my car with a water bottle. Hey yo, what's Crackalack and Challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today I'm going to be making a video about my queen ant that I just caught. So this is different from my channel. Usually I only make videos about fish in my aquariums, in my fish room, but I kind of want to spice it up a little bit and add a cool um, new animal or new colony to our fish room. It's something, something different that's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys. This is my test tube setup. And in here, I have one queen ant. So guys, I am super excited. I'm going to cover the little uh, test tube set with my hands so it's darker, but I am super excited. So basically, um, for those of you that do not know how to keep ants, I'm going to be going through an entire series about this on this channel. About a year ago, I actually had a separate YouTube channel. I uploaded one video there where I got an ant um, farm and I got harvester ants and that was before I even kept any fish and I got harvester ants and they were really really cool I did not have a queen because you can't ship queens. It's illegal in the United States So I did get some harvester ants and they were so cool to look at so cool to watch them move And it was awesome going back every single day checking their progress So ever since that day, I've always wanted to get a queen ant. I live in Wisconsin So we have seasons so we have winter and we also have summer and summer is really hot and during the summer I would always notice during some parts of the year that ants would fly everywhere so crazy they have wings and I didn't understand that until after doing research and finding out that was their nuptial flight when the female queens would actually fly away from their nests along with males and they would actually mate so after finding that out I was like wait queen ants make colonies and I can catch a queen ant and have my own colony so ever since then I've always been preparing so I actually ordered some test tubes um, because in preparation for when they'd actually have their nuptial flight and uh, something strange happened so uh, this is this is a really cool story. So during the summer, I've been going to ACT training, which is for a standardized test in America. When I got into my car and going to class, when I was driving down the road, I started hearing some buzzing in the car. Um, this is really weird. I didn't know what it was. So I was driving. I'm like driving like this, and then I look over and I actually see a flying insect on the window. I, I was I was scared because I didn't know what it was. It could it could have a stinger or something. And then after closer examination at a stoplight, I was like, wait a second. Hold the phone. This is a queen ant. I instantly got like super excited. I didn't know what to do. I was looking around in my car to see what I could keep the ant in. Um, I actually noticed a water bottle. The water bottle was empty. So I quickly grabbed the water bottle at the stoplight, put the water bottle next to it, made sure it got in and sealed it and started driving. Guys, I caught a queen ant in my car with a water bottle. And like during my entire day of class, I had the bottle with me and I was just super excited. This has so many possibilities, so much potential. So I, I was super excited. Thankfully, the test tubes arrived the next day. So I actually put them in. Ironically, I already ordered them. I put this on my Instagram too. A lot of people said I should make videos about this. So yeah. And uh, the main way I knew that it was a female was because of the wings. Male ants actually do have wings. However, they look different. They look like wasps. An actual cool creator, um, Ants Canada, just had this happen, which was pretty awesome. Um, and I watch their videos. I watch a couple other people's like Ants Australia. So I've had this guy for a couple days. I didn't want to make a video on it until she started laying eggs and she started to lay eggs. So ants are cool. They first lay eggs, which turns into larva. And then the larva eventually turns into pupae. And then it eventually becomes either a male ant or a female ant, which is the workers. So this is really cool. I still have yet to identify the species that I have. I might email Ants Canada or Ants Australia or something trying to ask. But I did look on my native, um, my area, like the area around me that have ant species. One of the suggestions might have been a field ant. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, I'd want to do more research and find out the best humidity for them when they eventually grow up. So currently, I have a test tube set up which basically comes of two different areas. One area filled with water and that's covered up with a cotton ball and the cotton ball just creates a moisture barrier so water doesn't flood the entire chamber. And then the open area. This open area is great for the queen ant to start laying eggs and the thing is with the water on one side, the cotton ball in the middle, that creates a humidity barrier so moisture goes through creating a great humid climate in the inside which is amazing for ants. I've had this in my drawer over the past couple days so that it'll be darker for her. I just want to take her out for this video so I can show you guys. Um, but yeah, I've checked up on her a couple times and I'm going to bring the camera over to show you what she looks like and the eggs that she's already laid. Alright, so you can actually see my test tube set up right there. It's a little out of focus. And you can see the queen ant. She actually dropped one of her wings, which is a good sign. And I don't know if I can get good focus on this camera. 
but she does have a huge batch of eggs and she has been taking care of them she hasn't been eating them so that's also a great sign um I don't know if I can get a great focus on this. If you want to see this in better resolution, check out my Instagram at challenge.thewild and I'll have a great photo there for you guys. Alright, so enough talking about this really cool colony. Let me show you where I'm going to put them. Dun dun. Okay guys, you can see this is a bow front tank. Completely dirty, completely bad right now, but this is the future ant colony, ant area. So this is an awesome tank. I was thinking about making a fish tank, however, you can see this crack on the side. That is no bueno when I try filling it. So what I'm going to do is actually cut this in half and have a paddlerium. So what that means is one side's going to be watered, the other side is going to be dirt and grass and other scavenging area for the ants. I was going to have a colony actually in here, I was going to mold it to the glass and have it really cool, but I'm actually just going to have a foraging area up here and I'm actually going to have a tube that goes down here. So down here we're going to have a cool nest. I don't know if I'm going to make my own out of Y Tong, which is basically an aerated concrete that I can carve out myself and have my own little colony in. Or I might just order a nest from like Ants Canada or something. I honestly don't know yet. I'll have a tube going all the way up to the tank and then it'll go right into their outworld and they'll be and it'll be really awesome for them. In here I don't know if I'll have any fish, but that'll be really cool and something we can work on later. So I'm going to have a lot of plants in here from h2plants.com and you can actually check out h2plants.com where I got some awesome fertilizer for my plants and basically all the plants in my fish are from h plants. But if you use the code CHALLENGER20 you can get 10% off your order. They have some great plants, fast US deliveries um, and just a really awesome company. Check them out right now down below. But one thing I also want to have is a living wall. So basically I'm thinking about having a tube on the bottom of the aquarium and have water run up to the top probably just over the water and have like java moss and like some other sort of plants that can be immersed and have like live out of the water and just have them drain down it and then back into the water. That would be a great natural filtration and also it would just look really awesome. The ants could climb it up. I am going to have to make a barrier up here um, probably just with rubbing alcohol and baby powder so they can't get through. But again, I do need to scrub this entire tank, remove everything, start aquascaping it. But I just wanted to give you a future plan for my ant farm and everything I'm going to be doing. There's my dwarf Garami, my bed of fish sorority, and my new awesome tank. So guys, I'm super excited for this new addition to the fish room and I guess now an animal room. Make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't know why you wouldn't. But I'm super excited. There are so many different plans we can get for these ants. Um, basically, this is a hobby I really wanted to get into, and now that I finally am getting into it, I'm just super excited, and the potential is just growing. Ever since I got this ant, I've been super excited for it to start laying eggs, and gladly it has. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this ant over the next week or two, but I am going away for this week, so I'm going to have people making sure everything's going all right in the fish room, and then when I get back, the ant should be really awesome. Alright guys, that is it for the video. Now that this video is done, you can actually check out an awesome video where I saved Lucky the Discus. This is Lucky and the other one that looks just like it is over there. This guy actually had a blockage and could not go to the bathroom, so that was a really stressful process. I just made a video on that, so you can check that out right now. And uh, yeah, you can check out my other videos about my fish, and eventually I'll have more videos about my ant farm. Alright guys, see you all later. Bye.